also like for Mr. Jason Upshaw, if you would share please his experience with you all. I didn't know that I was going to be speaking until about 15 seconds ago, but I'm glad to be here. And first of all, I'm a Christian. I am living, breathing proof that prayers are still answered. But these men right here run a close second, I promise. They gave me my life back. I was diagnosed with MS when I was 21 years old. I've been completely paralyzed from the waist down. Um, basically my entire adult life I've been in law enforcement. I went from being on the state SWAT team, picture perfect health, to being housebound. When I went to Costa Rica a little over three years ago, they picked me up in a wheelchair at the airport put me on the plane, did the transfer in a wheelchair, all that good stuff. Went to Costa Rica and I found what was undoubtedly the best medical care I've ever had in my life. The doctors, the staff, Mr. Orton, everybody was just phenomenal. And I owe my life to them, Richard, and some other wonderful people that I've talked to. I will follow these people to the ends of the earth. I will tell my story to whoever will listen. Um, when I got home from Costa Rica, I walked off the plane, I walked to the baggage claim, I got my own suitcase, and I walked to the car. It has been a life-changing experience. I am going to go back. Um, I'm back at work now. I work. A 40-hour week would be wonderful. That would seem like I'm on vacation. I'm in law enforcement again. When I got my badge and my gun back, I cried like a baby because that was the only thing that I had just nearly given up on. I'd never give up on walking, but I had given up on getting back in the profession that I love, and I do it every day now. Um, I can't say enough good. I can make a full-time job out of answering emails and phone calls because I'll work all day during the day, come home and answer emails all night long for people who are thinking about going down there who've heard about me and Richard and some of the others, I've told everyone I would go back tomorrow if need be. I stand behind these people. They have been great to me. It's not just while you're there. They have done a remarkable job after I come home of keeping in touch. You're, it's not like a feedlot like I was afraid it would be when before I left. I mean, they actually care. They don't want to put a Band-Aid on the problem. They don't treat the symptoms like I was used to here. I too have been on every MS drug that there is and I kept getting worse and worse and worse and so many of the medicines I was on the side effects were worse than what they're trying to treat. These people actually wanted to cure what was wrong. I'll be the first one to stand up here today and say I still have illness. I'll die with illness. But because of this treatment, it's so manageable. And I'm a completely different person now. Um, I have good days, bad days, but my bad days are no problem at all. I welcome my bad days because I've seen what bad really is. When I get out of the bed every morning and I take that first step, it actually means something now because there was many, many, many days I couldn't do that. And if you have any doubts or if you're wondering, please doubt no more. It works. I promise it works. I'll stake my reputation that it works. Um, when I went down there, I had this terrible, terrible, terrible vertigo. I mean, I, I was stayed so dizzy I couldn't stand up. I've got, I call them my idiot marks on my forearms where I would get a little cocky and think I could walk when I couldn't and I'd hit the pavement hard, take all the skin off. When I went down there, I thought, I don't want to be cured. I'd talked to Richard. I'd seen what he'd done for him. I didn't want to get my hopes up. So I thought if I come back with a better quality of life than I had when I left, it worked. Never in my wildest dreams did I thought it would work like it did. Again, please, I'm walking proof that it does work. And I will follow these gentlemen to the ends of the earth. And I'll stand on top of the highest mountain and scream my story to anybody that will listen. So thank you for your time. And 
I'm an open book. You want to know anything? <laughs>